Habari njibe la mimebe njibe kanyinte men na kabona lega mental and TV and we are broadcasting live kabona ngili yasa constituency. Mumu farafenya konoti andung na jelo ko his excellency president Adam Baro kunung minketa Saturday tu aya la banku be muru muru mo kumase akona two reasons for that na abe la banku be muru muru mala mumu ka Gambia no tentu keja i akabria katefa ya diza ma fourth presidential election o animfana ka ala national aspiring candidates o mnyani alonko wale lota NPP to ya la akaje ko amolia katefa imbari mbaya na konka nyati ndibiti katefa yola anu ambeja nyinge mbena ni mumbelo de wale ngano rabu du sano ti amu ko one of the presidential advisers to the president ah so mabla la ana nyol mo nyoli amolia nyoko ntong ajani mabula la kacha kona salamu waalaikum salam ana rabu meko ngejo ngejo gamba talents ngalbejo ana rabu naje ko his excellency president ana mabalo a wulita ka banku be muru muru ngoke nanata ka a gambia no tentu ke jai a kabriya karfe fa di zama fort election no anda ya fa na folo ko a be nyike kan ne a pour ka la national assembly min yalla ko len lota npp to yalla ke ma ko isa ye député a sira ngo soto nanata na national assembly Opanyo me lowa nyo me kada joka du kadu nambari bukono ninka mala kafu ko mulfana liye meli alonko wale karte faya e kafu ko alnumbara ale kada kuone trust me alonko aliole soto ndofa le karte faya nye mbela filahani sai ale karte udina dipiel fana na meli nyanta semben tu yala bari president dambamba kaka kukeno bari ni dipiel ba koma la watembo la hamu me menda zokeno. Ayo fana dunia nyola kuwa kono, puka hadama dunia fana tentu kejai, karte fa wa menta mbeta, yekarte wamendi alana wino mensoto, ni na muna siloti. It is one of the most important elections we have in Gambia. Every five years, we have to do it. 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 Last previous five years, the opposition party, the UDP, has to do it. We have 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 to do it. Are you guys optimistic? Ko alba ying election alba most of the seats win la nanta national assembly la karo. Abaraka ba ke la ukwe kuchano is very important. Bari wale mo jama doubt. Bari ba asani andilema. UDP la dipita uniaja siada nu. President Adam Abarola darajo. Wale atna la dipita siada. President Adam Abarola kato. Wale akende la dipita siada. Sain teng e balanta la le ko manke tonyati. Basi la betembo mendo nyomboring keno fela belaring. Anu ngamu la tumado rafili lfanal mema IACD walfanal mbe stand by thing ngalungu ni mbato mea alonko on the nine abe kwa ilale four itole mene solo num president barola darajo wale osima for num president barola kato wale osima for itole fang la kato wale la darajo wale osima on the nine wabe kwa ilale bara ngalungu na kodi pitele muli alonko yewe wale solo num mea alonko wale mudi last election o mene kada parliamentary wale mu president barola kulla ti bara balanta le sa inyundo ni na ba kwa ndi lako. Tonya, 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 Yarafang, President Baro, wala kuwa ya atina lako UDP wa ama unsoto. Because, ibe dula mensoto la, mafo ita dula soto la de. Bari ngamera, banko mu mebeka, mbeme ntule bulo kona retambe la nani la, wala saba. Inshallah. Yechikoso. Wabe lari na abe koirine. Inshallah, anda atabai la. Nanata ala katefayo la karola. NPP fongo la karo, diamo siyata bakel. Nanata ya independent candidate wa London jane, ya dula dolon. Ana la coalition party, dole tata fafo ya la independent candidate wa London. Kota li ni sifa, na jeta li ni pa, ibu miyalon kabe nu APRC le. Afongo keta independent candidate, kala national assembly member ta ka chale nyumu farma ta jawarati. Yo kuwa janyani? It's normal, as far as democracy is concerned, it's normal. Bara nsi meita ndi la otola karola. Mwobe la mama mpruka burunang. Wala pruka aje kwa yeke kandidato yeke mwoli ye tombong. Wanyanta haita ndi letefana kwa patio njine barako soto. 
ko patio nyine dara josoto ko patio lom patio de muyalon ko wolon gambe non la patio de bi patio lom muyalon ko hewtale ni ma hew mo ne buga nyo sabela wodo mpp a hewtale a e kadda men do fanam fo melialo dada lo independent mbe kuma klina itan la ndol ma npp independent soto nga npp parti le soto andon na alliance partner sol fanam melialo ko melbe ko aprc and the other parties wol fana ila patio to yalla ina ta wolto ma independent soto e kam men fotale ndina ko nyi nan to la candidate mu fat mara jawaralati e aprc la side la men boda jata da independent tuma do nazare ko e to ning aprc dam ban le so ko mo nyi fono bare nga kala mo dala ka fo ko aprc fana na kala mo tara man futa woto annu ne hada manu ya mare kula aka attaque la mo be tala mu fanti wota men ke ka ayake bara ma ke ila pati nyi to yalla wota munta ala fan sun ko la moti ala democratic right lam bare men important da je do wala mu ndol nga focus na candidate la do ko nyin kan ala fta mu ne kala mole ana pareta pour ka mu ne ka molie nga wo agenda nyin wa fi molie na tar wo agenda nyin kanyan da molla e ba carte o nat la andon tuma do nadi ata alay afana be fundra le fatma da jawara fana be win la le inshallah rabbi alin tula ko dal mulya lon ko independent ol bije ko men ka itande ka ko indi molla be ko dol kadaba independent ol ka vola president baro wole londi president baro te kala kanati nem fula mem bije pati la ba bulo ko no nazar korda ta bulo ko na sita jembran lo wulo ko no bara korda be bulo problem du je ko be be laare je muna ne bita la outside wota wota keno la independent npp man soto je men soto je to wole mu npp ti anina alliance partner sol la pati o mol wo candidate ol nga wole soto Honorable Nigel Ko covering his successor president Alawari Afoko. No, Sambi, Sambi, because his successor covering Nigel Ko Ala spokes deputy spokesperson Mkata Sirinjai to cover a press release in the Kafoko. His successor will be embarking on a countrywide tour to thank the the people of Gambia for voting for him and also a campaign you can allot a national assembly fengkol. A lot of people criticize. Uh, but all the government, uh, it go one waste of um, uh, taxpayers' money that you can send Katakana. na you go yeah. Thank you very much. Nigo taxpayers' money. Mbo mali mbo mol challenge la. Taxpayers' money. Department juma. Walla central bank. Walla institution juma. Government institution. Aya idan di la restore di la ntole nga kodo ta dami. Prezem baro la kodo. Taxpayers' all la kodo. Aya ta dami. Nga mera watu mo le sidiamu. But Melbo Kumon in Fokan, I think most of them are politicians. It will politicians or your Kodos of Mintola, Fidel Politic Kekan, and the Manke Mansat. It will Manke Mansat, Sidel Castle of Mintol, it will a Sotopulo Ferrosoto, Munia can into the Pusopulo Ferrosot Nola, Mena Campeno Ken and Ranyadele, Atarco Mansala Kodoma, Jumale Afoy, Yamun Proof Lesoto, Alafoyo, Kumakan Sound of Banco Sambala, Tonya of Banco Sambala. Nyon 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 tout mon nom fait un côté en tant qu'il met à vous comme le faux canne par le hôtel tel stop non là par les galons que government property taxpayer sol moulak kodol pour le mandat de président baro boulou à mandat de boulot qu'on a une sera campagne au kébène là par une campagne au kébène maintenant et tout le UDP même qu'à faux tri code of the words melka fondina UDP à kabona UDP kabriya a jamais bien maintenant campagne au kébène nyad ngana sosso de nyad il est de nous it Sultan Mumi alone can be Siri. Hey, Allah for you. Man, some members Siri left all the battle. Jela, Allah ma abundi battle kama. What are you for you? Taxpayers will lam kodo na haji mantera akang. But na campaign yomba sambala le nyanta tala nyamendola. Puriya kala muta wanyama. Yau kuma kensang bula yena anga kafu nyomba ngabanko doku. Kuma kensang abuka konte anda abuka domo. But doku waka konte la anda abuka domo nola fana. Nchelo la kumo nyumfori. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable, and uh, that was uh, Honorable Dusa Noel, of course, a uh, presidential advisor uh, to the president. And well, of course, we will actually uh, uh, try to engage some other people uh, here present today uh, to see how they feel with regards to um, the his excellency uh, embarking on this uh, tour today. And we know um, it's going to be a 14 days uh, long tour uh, to his excellency President Adam Abara, and also, well, of course, the entourage of. Um, um, the NPP-led coalition, and well, of course, you can see the people sitting down here uh, waiting for the arrival of His Excellency President Adam Abaro. Uh, 
Il y a sa constituante, il y a sa présidente, 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 présidente, il y a sa 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 présidente, Président Alamoboro, à Tenak, à Duganofi, Muneka, à Farafene, il y a sa constituante, à Poulouatanak, à Nitio, à Niti Iliasse, à Sunyewe Walum, à Nico Sani, les cartes, et aussi à mon advocate pour Asper, candidat à Nyohamne, à Nyoneka, à Si, à Iliasse, à constituante, à Nyohamne, à candidat à NTV, à Fira Wara Joge, à Poumou, à Sani, à Poumou Sani, à Nyo, à Kata. Bitung ambarin juga lah hari ini ada oleh jaja nyimpan benabi jang bi Ilyas konstituensi kono aliam boleh berlorin gaya his excellency president ada mabaru batung kang kaje ko afanasi nano nyaming aning Ilyas angkoli kaca nana sa Nyingi pita kati fa yangu kanya tulimina aning fana aning ka Gambia no ani iliasong Colton tukeje ana na tayi kati fa ya ani disema for presidential election hola ani time hola so we will still go inside to see if we can actually see some of the dignitaries that we are going to talk to between Mbari Jibera ko na kununyani na wala hundred people adu sano tumialongo amanundi amukawole anunga akumol kujen na mi Ya lonko, ah well of course, ah don't batter lonko. Ah kuma ah kensa ngole ndolbe ah gain ah knowledge gain laje yemimfo. Ah tole ajo nyama wole alpha leti mi ya lonko ibe siring ah ibe. Um, well, of course, his Excellency President Adam Abaro Batungkang, uh, Kajoko, uh, yeah, Afanala Moy, I mean, Fotogari, uh, His Excellency uh, President Adam Abaro, uh, Kunu Mimu Sibitoti, uh, Leng, uh, Na, uh, Ayala Bonkube, Muru Muru Kumase, uh, Kajoko, uh, Gamiano Tentu, uh, Ejai, uh, Nanata, uh, Alalansa, uh, Vitra, I mean, so this is for presidential election, and in Fanam, Ka, Daman Nermo, Tanak. Anim fanang ka advocate na nata national assembly aspiring candidate so la minialong ko a wala bijang a bini temena so I will of course I would like to talk to some of the coalition members here are actually present so assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. And congratulations on your landslide. Thank you, thank you. It's a a pleasure and thanks to all the Gambian and the victory is not for for us but for the Gambian people entirely uh, they chose the right candidate to uh, take the country forward they make their decision uh, and they they chose peace and that's what we wanted so yeah well, we have seen uh, his successor, President Adam Barrow, yesterday he embarked on uh, a countrywide tour uh, to actually thank the people of the Gambia for voting for him on December 4th presidential elections and uh, also to actually advocate for um, his aspiring uh, National Assembly candidates for April 9th elections. How do you say that? I think this is good because uh, if somebody does something good for you, I think the best thing to do is to thank them for it. The Gambian people really made a, 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 a conscious decision to uh, give the president a second ch ch chance. Um, that shows that he has done uh, a lot of the good things that he promised. There's still a lot more to be done. Uh, and I am sure that uh, the next five years will bring uh, uh, the, uh, the enormous changes that are left to be done. Um, and uh, the National Assembly is very, very important, just like the presidency, because um, at most they are the core, they are the lawmakers. Any bill that comes to the National Assembly have to be scrutinized, and this is what becomes law. So having uh, to prevent deadlock uh, in, in, in the House of Representatives, it is important to have uh, a, a National Assembly that can be able to help the ruling to, to be able to make uh, the needed ch uh, changes and policies. Yeah. 
we have seen a lot of young people this time around um, uh, um, 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 vying for the position of this National Assembly. Um, how do you see young people getting involved in politics? I think it is great. Um, the young people are the future. Um, they are the ones that will take the country forward for the next 20, 30, 40 years. We are, we, we are getting aged uh, and um, them starting now, they will have that experience and the foundation to uh, be able to make better laws uh, and, and policies that will be able to strengthen the government's institutions and take, move the country forward. So I think their involvement is extremely important um, because National Assembly is not for for and for older people and so but it is uh, it is definitely for something that something that is important for them to learn and then they grow with it and they become the future leaders of this country so I think I said kudos to them you know for for really taking uh, that initiative to take part in the, the national development. Are you optimistic of uh, having the majority sit this time around, knowing uh, the um, UDP were the ones that were having the majority at the National Assembly for the last five years? I am very optimistic uh, that we are going to uh, uh, gain uh, the, uh, the majority in the House of Representatives. Uh, now, if we see the UDP the last five years, there's a lot of policies that have hit the deadlock. And uh, to soften that, we must, we must have a National Assembly that can be able to help move the country forward and move policies that are important forward. And uh, we are uh, working really hard uh, with, with, with our candidates to ensure that we pick the right people who will be able to help the, the country forward and help the government make the policies that needed to be implemented. Thank you. Thank you, very Thank you very much. Well, of course, I have General Bojang also here, and I would like to talk to you. I will talk to you later. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. And uh, I also have um, another um, um, coalition member here who actually was um, among those that actually helped his Excellency President Adam Obaro to have his landslide victory on December 4th presidential elections. And, uh, well, of course, I will just allow him to introduce yourself for the second time. I am Obama Ba, Mamadou Ba. Yes. So you are here today to actually accompany uh, His Excellency President Adam Abaro uh, for um, actually uh, supporting um, his um, aspiring candidates for the um, April 9 um, elections and also to thank the Gambian people for uh, voting for him. How do you feel? Yeah, I feel great and uh, I have the opportunity again to tell the Gambian, to retell them again, to remind them about the undecided uh, political party called the UDP. I call them the undecided political party. Why? They have to decide because we be de defeated them instead of taking their marabouts to court, they took us to court. <laughs> yes, we are, we are here to thank the Gambian and also to, uh, to resell to sell our candidate to them so that um, the, uh, we will have a free and friendly environment to, to give the Gambian what we promised them during the campaign. Yeah. So uh, we have seen uh, his success as President Adam, since he um, embarked on this tour, he has been urging Gambians to actually vote for his aspiring candidates uh, because he believes those are the partners uh, who can actually help him in development. And then uh, we have seen uh, for the last um, five years, the UDP, uh, which is of course the opposition party, has been um, maintaining the majority of the seats at the National Assembly. Are you optimistic this thing, uh, this time around, will change? UDP, I'm telling you, uh, come uh, April 9, there's no more UDP in the Gambia. Even uh, their leader will cross carpet. Are you sure? I am very sure. I told you when uh, I told you in in LRL that we're going to win when, during the campaign, and then I'm telling you this again: Usenu Dabo will cross carpet to the NPP. So, um, what's going to be your message out there to uh, Gambian? Let maintain peace. This is politics, politics will come and go and Gambia will remain. I always advocate these young people, 
Don't sit on the roof of cars during the campaign. If you die or if you have any injury, politicians have no time for you. We are the young people for this country and we are the young people for this country. Let's not uh, get ourselves into something that will definitely hamper our development. Let respect each other, respect each other's opinion. Let uh, also allow the journalists to do their work. Let them, you know, so that at least the, the Gambian, the last Gambian in this country will get the information. It's important. This is why I always say the journalists are the best people because the information, if it, the information that we have, we have to, is the journalists that send it to the, uh, to, to the voters. So it's important we work with the journalists, we work with everybody, but let's maintain peace. Keep it, Gambia is bigger than all of us. Politics will come and go, but Gambia will remain. I thank your media and then I, I think I'm your fan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And well, of course, I have uh, Matthew uh, Gomez also here with me, and uh, who's actually also accompanying His Excellency President Adam Abaro um, on this um, uh, countrywide tour. And uh, Matthew, um, after um, you know your landslide victory, we have now seen His Excellency President Adam Abaro embarking on um, a tour uh, to thank the Gambian people for voting for him in the December 4th presidential elections, and also to actually um, urge Gambians to vote for his aspiring uh, NPP candidates. How do you see? This move? Yeah, I saw it as a good move uh, because um, we've already won the election, the presidential election, and uh, the only thing we need is to win the parliamentary because we need that to support the programs that we have, uh, especially for the NPP, to make sure that uh, the desires for the Gambians are met. So that's why this campaign is very important for us. And that's why we joined him to still give him the support that we gave him during the president. Taking uh, the NPP to court for actually, you know, um, 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 uh, allegations with regards to uh, giving um, 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 boholes, other stuff to you Gambians for actually convincing them to vote for the NPP. Well, unfortunately, um, the uh, petition was struck out uh, from the court. Uh, how do you say that? Well, I show that to be a democratic process. Uh, nobody intervened when they decided to take the matter to the court. And the only place where justice can be given is at the courts. And the courts have looked at the issue and they have given their verdict. And for me personally, I saw it to be something very good. It shows that there is freedom of speech for everybody to voice out his uh, own grievances and go to the court to decide. Yeah. And well, of course, we all know we are um, approaching uh, this um, 9th April for the parliamentary elections. We all know how lawmakers are important with regards to uh, the development of this country. Uh, now that you are involved, and then we, have, we are seeing uh, His Excellency President Adam Baro Oji Gamians to vote for his National Assembly aspiring candidates. Are you optimistic of winning most of the majority seats at the National Assembly, knowing we were, ha we were seeing the UDP as a party uh, occupying those majority seats? Yes, um, I'm seeing the NPP winning most of the, the seats for the simple fact that they have uh, done what Gambians wants. And because that has been achieved, Gambians will pay him back because they want him to continue the good work. So as far as I'm concerned, the assurance is there that NPP is going to emerge victorious, just like what happened in the presidential election. And it will not surprise any Gambian. What if, if you guys don't? If we don't. Well, it's normal. We will see it as a normal thing, but then we'll also have, it will prepare us again for next time. For me, when you do anything and you experience some difficulties, it is not a failure, it is a learning point. So you, you just learn from your mistakes to prepare you for the future. And I don't think that will be an issue as far as NPP is concerned. It's not an issue. So we'll just take it as it is and we'll build up on this. At the parliament, even though if you fail to have the majority of the seats, there are so many things that can be done. Just come up with bills that are going to convince Gambians and the, the MPs that this is the right thing for the Gambia and you'll get the support that you need. That's all we needed. And we hope you do get that. Now, we, are, we all know you guys are coalition partners uh, with the NPP. And then you guys, well, of course, played a role in, uh, in, in re-electing his Excellency President Adam Abao. And now uh, we are about to witness this um, uh, April 9 uh, parliamentary elections. Uh, where are you guys engaged with regards to the constituencies that the NPP will put up candidates there? You mean? Some of, some of us, yes. Some of us we are, some of us we are not. But then 
we have given him a word that we're going to support him, whether we are involved or we are not involved. It is our duty, as we have promised him, to support him in whichever candidate they have decided to choose to stand for the NPP parliamentary election. So we'll give him our, our support and we'll give him our voice. Yeah. Your final My final word is to all Gambians who vote for the NPP uh, parliamentary candidates. And also, let us remember one thing, and that is maintenance of peace. Because without it, there's nothing that we can do in this country to develop. So I urge all Gambians to go to the uh, election uh, polling stations on the day of the, the, the voting to make sure that they vote peacefully, go back peacefully. And whatever the outcome is, let us all accept it and live as Gambians. Like it has always been said, elections will come and go, but we as Gambians will already remain as Gambians. So the unity is what I am always praying for and asking everybody to maintain that unity. Thank you. Mr. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Uh, Matthew Gomez. And well, of course, I will actually um, allow my cameraman to actually, um, you know, show us some of the cards and then. Uh, DJ, DJ Harald, DJ, DJ Harald, DJ, Harald, DJ, 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 uh, but, uh, well, of course, uh, wonderful viewers out there. You're still watching Gaming Talents TV, and we are um, right at the Farafinia, well, of course, uh, Iliasa constituency. And, and then I am actually here with uh, Lamin K. Sadi, one of the prominent members of the National uh, People's Party, well, of course. And uh, hi. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine too. Well, uh, we uh, we have seen you um, since yesterday uh, with His Excellency President Adam Abar, um which of course uh, he embarked on the, um, a nationwide tour to actually thank Gambians for voting for him in the December 4th presidential elections, and also uh, to actually urge Gambians to uh, re-elect some of the National Assembly members under the NPP ticket, and also to actually vote for some of the aspiring candidates. How do you say? Well, um, thank you very much for having me on the platform. This is a very significant moment for us. Um, you remember sometimes um, in December we went out to converse for votes for His Excellency uh, President Adam Obaro. And people listened to us and then they gave us their, their mandate, their trust, their confidence. So we felt it necessary again under the leadership of our party leader, His Excellency Adam Obaro, to go around the country and tell Gambians, thank you for giving me your votes. Not only giving me your vote, but unprecedentedly voting in His Excellency. But again also, uh, we know uh, the president cannot function without um, you know, a well-composed um, National Assembly. Therefore, we also felt it necessary to go and throw our weight behind our selected National Assembly um, aspirants and campaign for them along the line. This is why we are here. And we can assure you that Gambians have given us their mandate and they would want us to work for them. And in order to work for them, we need to have a National Assembly that will be responsive to Gambian needs and that of, you know, I mean, um, the government's needs. Because the government of Adam um, I mean, different aspirations are the needs of Gambians. Well, of course, we've all uh, seen the last uh, five years the UDP party was actually the majority at the National Assembly. Are you optimistic of winning this, 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 this year's National Assembly? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Gamb Gambians have learned their lesson. Gambians have learned their lesson and I can assure you, Gambians are conscious of the fact that um, His Excellency Adam Obaro is the deal and his government is the deal. And I can assure you, Gambians will give their overwhelming support to His Excellency Adam Obaro and the NPP party. We are very confident that we are going to constitute majority in the parliament. Um, you know, come, you know, I mean, end of campaign and voting. NPP will emerge victorious. I can assure you that. Inshallah. You have seen KCD. I, um, uh, you know, uh, you are saying people were actually asking you whether you are going to stand for the National Assembly election. What happened to that? Well, I, I belong to an established political party. That's the National People's Party. And, um, of course, I, I, I can understand 
that a lot of people believe uh, I will be a good National Assembly member, particularly for my constituency, and they have the desire of me representing them. However, I belong to a political party, and we believe we have a National Assembly member, sitting National Assembly member, uh, who we can re-elect again to continue the development programs that he has in, in Talinding and continue. Yeah, it's true. Uh, people wish me to be in the parliament. But again also, uh, the NPP, you know, I mean, and myself wishes Fatma Jawara to continue her tenure in office. And we're going to give her all the support to continue her mandate in parliament. You've mentioned Talinding. We have seen um, the APRC and well, of course, the NPP. And then um, we have seen Pa Ibu from the APRC um, now vying for the position as an independent candidate. We have seen Farmata Jawara on the other side. Uh, what's your justification with regards to them? Well, you know, um, Parliament, Parliament is, is a very um, important institution. And um, I mean, Parliament being an important institution and it's a public office that is also open to, to, to people. So anybody can express their interest, but it's left to the voters to decide who exactly they want to vote in. And I can assure you, uh, the people of Talinding will vote, vote for Fatmata Jawara, you know, to continue representing us in the parliament. We are, we are not we are not threatened. We are not threatened. Um, we are not threatened, and I can assure you, um, we will we will we will emerge in the community of Talindi. What if if you don't? What? What if if you don't? Knowing we have uh, Musa Baji and um, a person also who is actually um, vying for the same position on the um, the um, uh, the PDIS uh, ticket. No, you see, um, I am giving you. I'm honestly speaking to you, and. Um, during the presidential election, I was interviewed. I don't go in for the losing side. Um, I am always optimistic and we work towards our programs and plans. And I can assure you, our plans are going to work out for us. Um, and the people of Talinding are going to vote for us. The people of North Bank are going to vote for our candidate. The people of URR are going to vote for our candidates. And the people of West Coast region are going to vote for our candidates. And in the end, we will emerge victorious. We have the strategy, we have the program, and um, uh, we have been addressing the needs of Gambian people. So any candidate that we place before them, they're going to embrace them. I can assure you. We'll be back again at an inauguration or whatever ceremony. And I will, I will repeat, I will remind you of the words that I have said today, inshallah. Well, we, of course, we have seen uh, the um, returning officer at Busumbala um, at the Brikama Area Council uh, actually um, uh, um, um, rejecting Sabali's um, nomination. And then a lot of people are saying the returning officer do not have the right to actually reject a candidate at that spot. What's your take on that? Well, my take is simple. We, we, that's the law in question. So people can express any opinion. And uh, those with the contrary view... Um, to that of the, the returning officer's decision, have the courts to go and, and battle their case. And the court's verdict certainly, you know, will be a precedent that uh, will live, you know, forever in the history, in the history of this country. So, so I leave that to the, I understood the matter is before the court. I leave it to the legal, the, the institution um, entrusted with that responsibility to, to, to deliver the verdict. Well, before you go, we have seen uh, since um, a press release was actually sent to uh, some of the media houses and also to the media with regards to the president embarking on um, a, a countrywide tour to thank the Gambians and also to actually um, urge Gambians to vote for his aspiring National Assembly um, um, people through the deputy spokesperson. Uh, people have been criticizing the uh, president and, well, of course, the government for actually, um, you know, wasting the uh, taxpayers' money. Um, you, as an, uh, a member of an um, APB, uh, how do you see this reaction? I feel very okay. I, I feel very okay. And like I said, we have been criticized from the onset. And that's, that's, the, that's the window that our government opened to Gambian people, that they should be able to express their opinion, the... That's why we ensure that um, media freedom is not only, you know, I mean, um, I mean, given, but it's also an entrenched policy for for the NPP. Um, so, so Gambians should be able to speak out against or for issues of public concern. But like I said, we have been criticised from the onset, and we know 
that the tax ahead is not going to be easy. We'll continue to be criticized, but we'll also continue to le learn from lessons um, 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 coming from the public. But we have a job to do, and we're going to do that job, irrespective of um, what. And we're going to move on. Um, the, the president having a national assembly is very significant for, for, for him and the NPP party. So if we think the president going out to tell Gambian people, thank you for voting, in, for voting me in, and also campaigning for his candidates to be able to continue with the mandate that Gambian people entrusted him with, well, that's, um, that, that, that's an issue. We, we, we cannot condemn their opinions, but it's okay that they express their opinions. But we will do what we think is for the best interest of this country. I can assure you. NPP has the interest of taxpayers at heart, and uh, those, I mean, um, alleging or complaining against our decisions are not more Gambian than us. They do not have the Gambian interest more than us. So, but yes, it's a conflict of um, opinion. It's a conflict of, an issue of conflict of interest. But I can assure you, we have the interest of Gambia at heart. Yeah. We have seen um, a lot of young people this time around um, uh, vying for the position at the, at the National Assembly. You as a young person, how do you feel seeing a lot of uh, young people actually uh, vying for the position uh, at the National Assembly? I feel very honored, very grateful. I've been propagating for this. Remember, I, I hail from the civil society. I, I work with youth institutions before. And I supported the campaign for young people to come out and participate in the politics. Uh, the environment was not very conducive for many young people to come. So if they are coming now, irrespective of the banner, under the banner that they are coming in, it's a welcome one. Um, and, you know, I mean, we are, we are very okay. I personally, I appreciate this. And I think, you know, in 10 years' time, we will be seeing young people, you know, I mean, coming more and more. Um, on the political platform and making politics um, an avenue of development. Because oftenly, politics was perceived to be game of the greed, game of the, the uneducated and whatever. But now we have seen the significance. You know, I mean, so, so it's, it's a, with a great sense of relief that I, I welcome all the young people asp aspiring for parliamentary positions, you know, and I wish them good luck in their endeavor. We have also seen women, you know, uh, the likes of Nena Frida Gomez, Farmata Jawara, you know, a lot of uh, Tumanjai. They are actually now interested and in becoming more um, 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 influential with regards to, you know, uh, bringing in more women to, to tell them actually uh, this is a domain that you guys can actually, you know, um, enjoy and then send your voice to your fellow women. And uh, how do you see this as well? Very good. Very, very good. Uh, you see... But again, also, they're coming into the political, the political game has also manifested the behavior of some people who initially believe that women should participate. Um, we have seen an op opposition party supporters who, in fact, bring out some of those candidates who are... Con for example, I have seen a lot of criticisms coming from the camp of the United Democrats, the UDP, against Fatmata Jawara. Remember, UDP was the one who introduced Fatma Tajawara as a, as a parliamentary candidate. So, so that tells you that when people say we have the country at heart, you, you, we have to do a serious forensic of that, that word. We have the interest of the Gambia at heart. Because if you can bring Fatma Tajawara as a candidate to contest for your party in, in Talindi constituency, and today you are turning against her, that tells you who they are. But against many other candidates who are against some of those candidates, their parties, we have seen their true color. So there is a lot of challenge that we're going to battle with to ensure the effective participation of women in our political landscape. We have a long way to go, a long, long way to go. But as NPP, we are committed to supporting women and uh, we are ready to institutionalize the participation of women in our domestic policies and then we'll grow up with that at the national level. Hopefully, the next election, you will see NPP bringing more and more women. Final. My final word is that the political season is open. We play it healthy. We support each other. We sell our agenda. And, you know, I mean, we stop going after each other. Because everybody has history. And for some people, some of their past is regrettable. And they never want to get back there. So today, we should be able to talk about policies and programs and the capabilities of each and everybody. 
than going personal against each other, each, um, each person. Um, I call on Gambians to support NPP. NPP is their solution, and it's only NPP who can provide, you know, their needs and aspirations for them. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you uh, very much. And uh, well, uh, of course, that was Lamin K. Sadi, and then. Uh, well, uh, well, of course, that was uh, Lamin K. Sadi, and uh, you have uh, had uh, what actually uh, he was uh, trying to um, uh, say, and then, uh, well, of course, uh, now, this man, Lolo, and if you're not a chicken, you're hungry, and you're not a cat. Ilia, Nina Sefo, Nasefo, Ibrahman and Sutan by Jan, Beole Noma, Nako Duma, Koduma, Nako Santo, Cosanto, Well and Dolce Adama Barua, Hanna Bidding Adama Baro, Manka Perus Dangle, Nimem Mansat and Dolcata, Bidding Adama Baro Nata, Ya Jam Botagi, Adama Baro Katagan to the Bullet Adam Baro no, Fofo, Nakato Fai, Aladibito Island and Bafaila of Fanai, Baduala Bankola Yuan. Fast banko doku, mol sao momenti banko kam, ale o kenya banko kam. Molo kam yang kumbo, wala mungi ti fiongol da. Fiongol da ja wiyata, yulol ye fiongol da ja wiyande ko fiongol samba nango mandia. Sae moli ya duno besi ka adi persidangola. Ndol muso li fanan kako kole kumbo. Persidangola asembo la, ay fiongol da tala. 
Je suis un peu plus de temps. 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 Je Ha, ndolkawo Waduman tolbe ya jamele ya biri ya londi na tanno me ko na kafo ngala nyo kan na kafo ngan ne saate o mol be kan nganya la ra nyo kan kato fay bar han si do kan na be tambe ya bo kan konto nga bondi ge nga dibite ko tol tombo ni ngu mo ni nga wudun do ofiso kon do bi na do ko kel be je kir ngala ko na kata ga be do ko kel ka do nga ba mo di president le ko ndun kan leto kan leto be president ko mo le be do ko ke no kan leto ni mamur ko president ko meta do ko ke nol wala mu sanku ndam fat amma ka nge folo mbal be carte wala fayla ya folo ko alla mi menu njang mi alon ka bota udp de amal long amal kalamuta ko do atoli amira ko natural ye carte fay sanku nge sanku mbal lon na bal kalamuta la alla an solo te fengo fe na ba kelale ha be jigir wala le nga wala nga to le carte ko biri sa fo ka independent kan leta ma soto ana tayele ma man sakang bi rayele bata man sakang bu o kurundi ni adam baro ni pati ko na bulo beje mbeje kire ngal ko na kata dibite woti ana ta office ko no abel na banko na faale men kata na not banka jant ha na not banka jang abel na faale bake ha men kata na carte fay banko di mene be kere la kuma la bon ti kafo um his excellency president adam baroy même mon nakou mala baro wala mo ngente mbe president mbe mur la nakou ma koto kili mo kam mbe president o dani la president o e mol ma koy men geta sutu musolu musolu sembo do yata anen karam mun to dindi walu karam mun to dindi wala karam bo la e yir wandi kato bi nyum banko kan karam le be leban fe o fe man karam ga leban leban han waki man e ta sutu la bar karam bu ko to ti kyal do yata ge karam do fanan sembo ma wara Iruwa man soto karandi wal buka do moro soto kongoto do buka do karango keno hande do ko kongoto buka keno ay dindi wal ma ko do moro do karambu ngoto ay musol fanam ma ko ay na seno bunda yi wandi ngi ay musol ma ko jorangol to nga sama do ko ni wa sima ngo soto bu ngono ni fenda ku ya min be ka foto wote kel ba ni sima ngo man soto bu ngoko ha fa ngata ma no san wo mu joranta yalet ha wala mun nakuma la bango abaraka yo fana abaraka abaraka a bitung amadu ngol hanim bi atolla ya moy a wo mero mi fa ko a be a hisa san si president adam baro a danila ay a wakai a abe a hisa san si president adam baro danila a nana ta ka musolu ma koy a ka am jorangol ta ke am idal tala nana ta marcela carola a bitung na modo fana soto yamba nyim kala tonni to botam to salam alaykum Maya salam naka ngat man falma mata falma da falma da falma da yakaw da haba mata wa ko jege man fi fi nga jege wa lu tayo nga ñoo fi tay ah lu tayo nga ñoo fi tay ah xala adam baro rek wa adam baro mo ñu jaral ñu bu ñu sand ko ak sanku mo gane rek su sanku gane mom yeb de da ba ah ka yu ko la yu ko la la Ma <laughs> Uh, well, wonderful viewers, you're still watching Gaming Talent TV and we're broadcasting live here at the um, uh, school premises of uh, Parafenya and well, of course, Ilyasa constituency. And, uh, <laughs>